Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're making some coconut rascala. Today's episode is being sponsored by BDC West Indian Supermarket in Lauderhill, Florida. Here you can find everything seen in today's show and everything Caribbean. So let's jump straight into this recipe. We're starting off with four cups or one pound of milk powder. To this, we're going to add in cardamom. Now, because we're making it coconut flavored, you don't want to overpower it with too much of spices. Next goes in baking powder, flour. This is going to help hold it together. And two packets of coconut milk powder. We're going to give that a mix. You want to incorporate the milk powder and the coconut milk powder well, along with that baking powder and flour. Just set that aside. Let's make the pack in the meantime. So to four cups of water, I'm adding in three cups of sugar. We're making a simple syrup. You can do equal parts, four to four, but I didn't want to make it that sweet. Of course you can put more sugar or less sugar depending on your diet so once the sugar melts we're going to leave it on our stove on a low heat I'm going to go in with some coconut essence give that a mix and just leave it on your stove on that low heat this does not need to get thick or form a thread or anything you just need it to be a syrup so to knead the milk mixture we're going to be using one cup of coconut evaporated milk if you can't find this you can use regular evaporated milk or canned coconut milk we're going to add that in and give the milk a mix now you want to add in half and you add in the milk in small portions you don't want to add all the milk at once because if it gets too soft you would have to add more dry milk and then the leavening ingredients will not be enough so continue to mix because the milk will absorb it really quickly I actually use three quarter cups of milk and you just want to knead it until it comes together like this it's going to be a really soft dough but not very very soft and it's not going to be hard so if your dough is hard then you didn't put in enough milk just look at the texture of it here so once it looks like this you don't have to over knead it now we're going to make our dough balls so you guys see I have a quarter of a cup of milk left over just set that aside now to make the dough balls I cleaned my hands you want to start with clean hands and we're going to break small amounts and you can make this about one and a half inches to two inches remember as it cooks and it fries it does double in size so you want to roll these into nice smooth balls and if you guys wanted to put some shredded sweetened coconut in here like I did with the gulab jamun you can I'm gonna fry these so I'm testing the first one out to make sure that the oil is at the perfect temperature you don't want the oil to be screaming hot or it wouldn't cook in the on the inside if it's too hot make sure you have enough oil in your pan because as these cook or fry they're going to float so you want to give them enough space to move once they start floating and they're golden brown you can take out the ones that are cooked look how beautiful they look so I'm going to just drain this on paper towels you want to make sure and drain well and I'm gonna continue frying the rest once all has been finished fried you're going to remove that paper towel and now we're going to add in our pack now your pack will be nice and warm you need it to be warm but you don't need it to be boiling the warm pack is going to be absorbed into those balls. The balls is going to act like a sponge and soak in that pack. Now, if you like putting cardamom pods in your pack, of course, you can go for that. Try not to overpower it because we want that coconut flavor to come through. And once, it, once it's finished soaking, this took about half an hour because it soaks really quick. 
and it feels like a sponge you can remove it from the bag so that it's not like really really soaking with that bag I don't like it to be drowning so once it soaks I take them out and set them aside I'm gonna break into one so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside some was were fried a little too brown so you want to make sure and keep your eyes on it when you're frying it and look how perfect they look I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe you remember as I said you can place some sweet and coconut flakes on the inside of it if you make it comment down below let me know what you think thank you all so much for joining me do check out the other videos that I put up with Lapsi and Suhari root ladu sweet rice it's all here on the channel so thank you all so much. Do remember to stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.